forward stream. I'm just gonna go and it's a very simple project. And of course, it's not going to work properly. Thank you, Slim Jim. I can see it, but I can't hear it. Of course, I can't. Gonna change one set of quick. All right, one shark for you. They're cold. Guard from fighting each other. All right, I just have to. Maybe shark fighting? Probably. Probably. We're good? We're good? I don't know what I did. <clears throat> good. Sometimes my Bluetooth turns off and on, so that's a problem I have to work out. Probably by getting enough. Oh no, I'm out of tea. <laughs> I thought I had more. Guess I'll drink some water <sighs> before I start. Oh no, I'll just drink water. <sighs> we're good, we're good. Although I did add a uh, hydrate to my uh, channel points. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. I did add hydrate. Feel free to redeem it anytime you want. Kind of be like with gold. Yeah. You can save your points. You can save your points. <laughs> uh. So uh, my girlfriend found these uh, these brackets that she liked. And it's probably the easiest shelf you can possibly build. But yeah, we're going to hang them like this so it's kind of like a yeah they're pretty nice <clears throat> so we'll just uh we'll make something for her we're all about her today um <clears throat> and so this is the material that this is the material we're going to use. Um, it matches. This is the same material we used for her desk. So we're just going to keep that theme. And 
which needs to be 24 and a half long. And these are about seven and a half. A little less than seven and a half. <clears throat> so I want everything square. Uh, need a new pencil holder. <clears throat> so we're going to mark this at over seven and a half. Eight. And we'll rip this board at eight and then we'll flip it over and rip it to size so that we're perfectly square. table saw. Just in case you want to see what I'm doing. Yeah, um, this should be pretty short. <clears throat> I'm literally just making a board. I'm done with my desks. I turned, I, I delivered them all to the tool library. So we're done with that for now. 24 desks total. started. up my splitter. <laughs> I don't know how I bet I bent that earlier in the day. what well, just caught on it. All right, we're good. Start this. Probably go through and do another uh, <clears throat> realign this table saw again. I'm pretty sure it's not in perfect alignment anymore. Hi, Jessica Kate. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you here. We're just playing with wood again today. <clears throat> ah, I'm pretty good. Finished our big project and 
Working on a small project. Makes my girlfriend proud. <clears throat> All right, so now I can see we have a piece of wood. <laughs> uh, she is. She is. Yeah, she went and bought these these shelf brackets that she likes. So, uh, yeah, we'll just make it work. Um, so it's a little too big and that's good. That's what we wanted. So now we can decide which edge we like. And trim it down a bit. Looks like this is bowed quite a bit. Maybe it's probably very hard to see in the camera, but it is bowed a little bit. It goes out this way, so. <clears throat> it's not too bad. So we'll take a smidge off of this side because it has a burn mark right here. So we'll just take that off and then we'll decide which side we like best. Then we're going to take uh, a hand plane on this. And the hand plane will, will uh, put a, an edge on all the corners to make it look nice. And her desk is coated in polycrylic. So we're going to put a polycrylic finish on it. Oh shoot, I didn't show you that. Sorry. I gotta get my camera views in shape. Alright, we're still a little redo what I just did essentially. Professional board making, although I am no professional in any sense of the word. <clears throat> and we're done. End stream. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're going to do a little more treatment to it. <laughs> thank you, Jessica. Sure, you can do this. You can do it. So, as soon as we're done treating the board, we'll attach it. Wonder if these, any of these screws will even work for it. Yeah, they'll work. It has a few wood screws and all the um, drywall screws. 
attach it to the wall. Oh, you're afraid to put a, a shelf. <clears throat> what kind of shelf? Don't want to fuck it up. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not too bad. You know, the only thing I would suggest getting is a stud finder, which is they're very cheap from the hardware store. If you can get one, if you're hanging something, if you can get one of the screws into a stud, even just one of them, you increase your strength by a lot. And it's not too difficult to figure it out. Got it. <clears throat> and then the dry, the only other thing is getting the drywall. If you're not going to drill into a stud, you got to new, you got to know the capabilities of your drywall anchors. So <clears throat> all these things in this box here, there's two different kinds of drywall anchor. It's, a, it's concrete, okay? So you wouldn't use a drywall anchor, you would use a concrete anchor. <clears throat> I think I might still have one actually. I can show you how those work. I have that one still. But you'd also need another specialized drill bit to drill through the concrete without splitting it. And so that's just another thing. I don't think it's too hard though. So I have a concrete anchor in here, but I don't have the bolt. So this is one type of concrete anchor. But basically all you need is a drill bit that drills oh, into man. concrete. <laughs> You're gonna make me squat. <laughs> okay, I can do that. <clears throat> Although I could do squats all day long, that's no big deal. Whatever you need, Jessica. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. When I when I adjust this camera, I can make it big, and then when I move it, it just resizes. It's kind of fun. I think I can even move it. Oh, she didn't move that one even move it off of its spot and then it will just move back to its position. That's a feature, it's a OBS, um, it's a, it's an addition to OBS. So it's literally, I, I got it from the OBS website and it's a, an extension that somebody made for it. So you just install it and then you figure out how to use it. It adds like different uh, filters to your OBS and um, 
the hardest part is figuring out what to do with those filters to make it do that. Uh, installing it is incredibly easy. Um, but anyway, I was talking about this drywall maker. Um, you need a specific bit, but once you get that bit, then you just buy the concrete anchor and it fits inside the hole that you made. And then a bolt goes inside of this and it expands this kind of like a drywall anchor, but this is meant for concrete. And it expands to fit inside the concrete. I think concrete is easier to make work than any drywall anchor because the material you're working with is actually like hard. So I would not be afraid to try this at your home. This, this concrete anchor goes into soft material and you're lucky if it holds like 30 pounds. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I, it's, how would you ever know it unless you're trying to do it? <clears throat> but this, this, this concrete acre I'm using here is a giant one. This is what I used to hold a, uh, a hand railing. Yeah, 20 kilograms isn't that much, so you should be able to do that no problem. Yeah, that one would hold like a person because it's meant to hold a, a whole, I think this even says how much it holds. Maybe not, I oh. It has pictures. It shows how to install it on the back of the box. as pictures. Definitely would not be afraid to put up a shelf in concrete or anything else. As long as what you're putting on there isn't like so valuable that. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Whatever the heck I think I was doing. So we'll switch it. I also need to make this. Switch up a bit. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want it to fall on the sewing machines, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely don't, it, it depends totally on what you're going to use for a material and what kind of shelving brackets you're going to use. All right, so I'm just trimming off this end to give us a nice flat end surface. So I'm not sure if you knew what I was talking about, but to give us a nice flat end surface, this is the one we didn't cut. <clears throat> so you can see the end grain Maybe you can't see. It's really rough. We didn't cut this one. And this one is very flat and smooth. Can I key it? Um, <clears throat> I suppose you could say that. Yeah, we're gonna champ we're gonna put a chamfer on all the edges. So we're gonna chamfer all the edges and that'll just give it a nice, uh, the sh edges won't be really sharp. Right, right now the edges are so sharp you can almost cut yourself on them. The point is like pointy, the point is pointy. 
<clears throat> so we're going to take a hand plane and go over all the corners and just uh, put a Ikea joint down there. <clears throat> Champer. You know, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Champer. I've heard people call it Champer. Camphor. I don't know. So the girlfriend wants this 24 and a half. <clears throat> I guess we can do that. <clears throat> Man, I'm all flummy today. I think it's just because it's kind of cold in here. Now we get to play with our tools. More playing with wood, my favorite thing to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clamp. We'll clamp this piece to my work surface. It's not moving around a lot. And we'll put a chamfer on it. Whatever the heck you want to call it. So we have, we have my block plane. So we'll just use a small plane. Put a nice little edge on it. We'll go slow. we're taking an even amount off and that we're maintaining a 45 degree angle I'll start <clears throat> so it's like this side got a little bit less taken off so we'll take a little more off of it So we got, this is gonna be impossible to show you. <clears throat> but up close, unless I got some other kind of camera, maybe I should get one of those microscope cameras. <clears throat> but we're just visually looking at this and we can see that it's fairly even all the way across. That's good, that's what we want. So we'll just flip it over. We'll do every single corner like this. Edge, every edge. And then we're done. I don't think we're, we might give it a quick sand on the top and the bottom. But this is pre finished, pre surfaced material. So we really don't care that much about it as, well, as far as sanding goes. Uh, 
So I would also call this like an Ikea joint. Although it's not a joint, but it would be more like an Ikea treatment. Because Ikea... makes everything very simple. And they make it so it's easy to reproduce a lot of pieces. And they make it so it's easy to not make mistakes. And you're reproducing a lot of pieces. in the face. It's a lot of fun. It really is. <clears throat> it's a simple process. It's very satisfying. All right, maybe if I clamp this one, my little vice here, give you a better shot. I coated my whole workbench in uh, polyurethane when I was staining the desks. So now it's like really slippery and it's kind of weird. Alright, so now you can see what I'm going to do to this end grain. Should be able to hear him. Oh, the problem. OBS doesn't like to cooperate sometimes. There, now I should be able to hear it. <laughs> Danger, how are you? Man, how are you today? I tuned into your stream right as you were hosting somebody else today. doing pretty good. We're making a shelf for the girlfriend today. We finished our desk so now we get to work on projects for the girlfriend. Which is pretty nice. It's possible she might even like it. off of these corners too. Being careful not to put too much um, pressure in the wrong spot or it's just gonna tear out. It's already tearing out anyway. Um, we're 
we're just not going to put that much effort into worrying about no tear out. Just take off a teeny bit of a material. Make sure that it's even. Planning leaks better. Mm. Yeah, dude. How are you, danger man? Hope everything's going well. Living the dream. That's good to hear. So this uh, end grain was a little rough, so I'm gonna bring sand it to make it look a little bit nicer. Take off any rough edges. Oh, yeah, we, we do like to see Danger living the dream. Danger's a cool dude. Does anyone follow Danger? He's a great streamer. Just a really nice guy. Be my life. And you should follow him, especially if you like to watch Farm Simulator. And he also does some DIY stuff every once in a while. Um, he's in the UK, so definitely a time difference. You're welcome. You're welcome. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty smooth. We want to even this chamfer out a little bit more, I think. It's nice and sharp. Looks like Ikea did a really good job on this one. Good old UK, indeed. Indeed. Looks good. Those factors really got a good thing going. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Factories. I mean, I hate IKEA as much as the next guy, but their style is awesome. Thank you. Um, we own a lot of Ikea stuff. Not because we like the quality, but because we, it's because we like the style. So a lot of the stuff that I make ends up um, replicating that style. So we do like that. Man, I love the UK. My favorite wood woodworker is in the UK. And 10 
points to Gryffindor if you guess who that is. <laughs> you don't know who it is? Um, I'm pretty sure I've taken a Harry Potter house quiz multiple times. But it's yeah. <laughs> I feel like I would choose Hufflepuff. Um, yeah, my favorite uh, woodworker is from the UK. It's Paul Sellers. This is my favorite. <laughs> Paul Sellers focuses on simple hand tool woodworking and it's just like so amazing to have something so simple come together so easily with simple tools. <laughs> there you are. All right, I'm happy with these chamfers. I'm just gonna take the 220 sandpaper, go over the top and the bottom, just a little bit. <laughs> Ravenclaw, very nice. Man, who doesn't break? Simple shelf today, nothing crazy. The girlfriend wants it and it's gonna look nice. to see how far apart she wants these to be. Yeah, dude. Does seem kind of crazy in the UK at the moment. That's, that's pretty much how I want it to look. Very, very simple project. Um, I'm just gonna feel all over, make sure that it's looking good. So I want this to be the top, so I want this to look the best. And then we're going to add a polycrylic finish. If I have enough here. I think we're good. Uh, <clears throat> 
Oh boy. Stayed up too late last night playing Raft. My buddy and I beat the game, so at least we got that going for us. No snow recently. We had snow a couple days ago, but it just, uh, just a tiny bit. <clears throat> um, although it's still pretty early in the season, we'll probably get a lot. I've never played Stranded Deep. This I would describe it more as like, <clears throat> how would I describe it? It's a survival game. It's it's a lot like if you've ever played Subnautica. It's a lot like Subnautica. Um, but simpler and more about I don't know, it's a lot like Subnautica. Yeah, danger, no problem. Okay. It's What's really cool about Raft is you can just join other people's games. And uh, <clears throat> like my buddy, he's playing it. As long as he has it enabled, I can just jump into his game and we can both work at the same goal. So it's a lot of fun just floating on a raft. And I think if Subnautica had the same type of deal, it would have been really big. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm not sure about the man stuff, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and then catching fish, make the fishing pole, you catch the fish, you get to eat the fish. Collect wood, they build your raft really big. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. And then it has like a kind of a short storyline. And most of the, the game is actually puzzles. Like you find a special area, then you have to do the puzzle to essentially get through all the parts of the area. Um, so that part's actually a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna get a few blocks. Oh. So I need. this up on some blocks and then we'll just paint the top and the edges and let it be. Then I'll figure out where she wants it on the wall. Maybe get a different paintbrush. All of these I used for oil paints. This one's, this one's water. So always wash your paint brushes really, really well. You can reuse paint brushes for many years. So this this paintbrush is like four years old. Yeah, Jessica. Here, look at you. Thanks for coming by. Ooh, like. Jessica's been doing food streams recently and they've been really nice. So have a good day. 
All right, so we sanded this a little bit with some 220 sandpaper. That's pretty much all you need for the paint to kind of stick a little bit. Um, and then this is polycrylic. Um, it's water-based, really hard and rigid paint. Um, finish, it's not a paint, it's a finish. Um, it dries so hard that Really, it's in, the, it's in danger of chipping. I finished a coffee table with this stuff. And because it's so hard and rigid, it just kind of chips. Um, but there's almost no odor with it. So we like that, no order is good. And it uh, is, pr I don't think it's completely non-toxic, but it's low on the, on the toxicity. You wouldn't want to use it on like a cutting board, but just because of its rigidity and it creates a film finish. but I like it because it dries fast. It's very clear, so it's not gonna mess up any of your colors. So all this did was darken the uh, wood just a tiny bit. Um, makes it look a little bit wet. I use polycrylic a lot. Another thing is you don't want to get it um, don't want to put a thick coat on it because if it's too thick, it'll start to get, it'll leave like, it'll turn into like a white powder. Like for example, I guess I just used my stir stick, but on my stir stick, it just has a ton on it. And when it dries, it becomes kind of like a white powder if it's too thick. So we just put a thin coat on it, make sure there's no drips. we don't have any thick areas it's going to be just fine. Then we just uh, we'll go over it when this is dry we'll go over it again. Um, put a sand, sand a little bit. Um, sure I wouldn't call anything a sealant. I think sealant is a bad term because you never really seal the wood. The wood is always going to absorb moisture from the air. Like the only time you're ever going to seal wood is if you encased it in like an epoxy resin. Otherwise, it, the wood is always going to move with the humidity. But so any kind of top coat you could call it a top coat or a finish or um, I mean, that's pretty much the only terms I would use. Um, not that I'm any authority, but that's that's what I would say. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I'll do a paint and then a finish or top coat on top of it to protect the paint. Yep. 
So our, for example, our, our coffee table, we used a water-based paint um, to color it. And then I used the polyacrylic on top of that to protect the paint and to give it a kind of a nice, um, not necessarily shine, but it kind of just gave it a, a more finished feeling. Sometimes when you just leave paint, it just looks uh, maybe a little dull, maybe a little uh, too matte. And if you gave it a finished coat, then it uh, just kind of makes it pop a little more. <clears throat> um, so I better read this container, see how long. Usually it only takes a short amount of time for it to dry before you can do a second coat. For example, I did, uh, I should take a picture of my girlfriend's desk because we did, I did that in a day. I cut it to size, I treated the corners exactly like this. And we got, I think, two coats of polyacrylic on it. And it was dry and I put it on the desk the same day. Yeah, it can be recoated in two hours. So all it has to do is sit for two hours. We put another coat on, it sits for two hours. It's done. Um, and then we did a light sanding in between the two coats. Um, so that's all it is. It's nothing too crazy. And that's basically, like I'm, I'm gonna have to come back to this in two hours. So if there's something you wanna see at this point in time, I'm not sure what I can show you. I have some desk pictures. Are you interested in watching that? They're all on my Google Drive, so that's not ideal, but. My state had 67 deaths from COVID today. All right, I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. We can show off a little bit of the desks today. download all of these today. I hate bringing up my Google Drive because I oftentimes show things that I don't intend to show. But at the same time, I don't really have anything too weird, so. 